Essays on Untouchables and Untouchability Social by Baba Sahib Ambedkar Chapter 2, Part 27 The second source for rules of precedence is commonality. It will be noticed that rules of marriage have not given rise to rules of precedence as rules of commonality have. The reason lies in the distinction between the rules prohibiting intermarriage and interdining. That difference is obvious. The prohibition on intermarriage is such that it can only be respected, but it can be carried out quite strictly. But the prohibition of interdining creates difficulties. It cannot be carried out quite strictly in all places and under all circumstances. Man migrates and must migrate from place to place. In every place he happens to go, he might not find his caste men. He may find himself landed in the midst of strangers. Marriage is not a matter of urgency, but food is. He can wait for him, himself to get married till he returns to the society of his caste men. But he cannot wait for his food. He must find it from somewhere and from someone. Question arises from which caste he can take food if he has to. The rule is that he will take the food from a caste above his, but will not take food from a caste which is below his. There is no way of finding out how it came to be decided that the Hindu can take food from one caste and from not from another. By a long series of precedent, every Hindu knows from what caste he can take food and from what he cannot. This is determined chiefly by the rule followed by the Brahmin. A caste is higher or lower according to the Brahmin, and according to how a brahmin takes from him the food or not in this connection the brahmin has a very elaborate set of rules in the matter of food and water he will take only water from some and not from others he will take fruit cooked in water by any caste he will take only food cooked in oil from some castes again he has a set of rules in the matter of the vessel in which he will accept food and water he will take food or water in an earthen vessel from some caste only in metallic vessels from another and only in glass vessels from others this goes to determine the level of the caste if he takes food cooked in oil from a caste its status is higher than the caste from which he will not if he takes water from a caste it is higher than the caste from which he will not if he takes water in a metallic vessel from a caste it may be higher than the caste from which he will not take it or from which he will take it in an earthen vessel and the caste from which he will take water in an earthen vessel in turn is higher than the caste from which he will take the water in a glass vessel glass is a substance which is called nirlep which conserves no stain therefore a brahmin can take water in it even from the lowest but other metals do conserve stains contaminating character of the stain depends upon the status of the person who has used it that status depends upon the brahmin's will to accept water in that vessel the end